Ah, a true warrior. I have a discount for... Wait. You're not with the Kabinianis, are you? No, I am not. I am a Magi. Whoa. Magis used to come here all the time, but not recently. Who do you work for, then? Cleopatra. I heard she was in town. Well, a Magi working for his pharaoh. You must have gold to burn. I would like to speak with your legendary twins. Speaking is what you call it. I suppose we all have our thing. The twins are going to cost you if you want to speak or anything else with them, Magi. Make yourself comfortable upstairs. The twins will come for you. They had a rough night yesterday, so don't speak too hard with them, hmm? You wanted to speak to us? I'm looking for a Gabignani named Venator. Shh! Do not say that name! She is a naked Iadet. I won't hold my tongue for that monster. Everyone is scared of him, but you should kill him. He's staying at the top of the square. He won't be staying anywhere ever again. This place has been busy. Venator does not walk alone. This place smells like a swamp. Broken dishes. It reeks of foul play. Target practice on Cleopatra. Venator is training his Gabinianis for an assassination. Stick and scented oils. Were women of the street here? And Roman regalia. Odd. Seems Venator wants his men to mix well. Wine casks. This doesn't smell like wine, though. Oil in wine casks. Enough oil to burn down the whole city. My gods, a crafty plan. One of the men is posing as a woman. Must be to infiltrate the palace. Posing as wine merchants, they will dock and set a fire to cause a panic. With an archer ready to pick off the queen in the confusion, somewhere high. Venator, more than just one of Septimius' dogs. You have your own puppets within the order. I have to find them before they strike.
Ah, look. It is the Magi. One more warrior to add to our ranks. I hope a moon walks among us. Aya! My love! Baek! <laughs> Ah, you smell of the sea. The high seas have taken me for some time, but now I'm yours. Got this, my love. is an unworthy bitch. That is no way to talk about a goddess. If you are a guardian of Egypt, the country will surely be dead in moments. Keep talking. You'll soon find yourself without a head. Did you stop by the brock and see my handwork? Your intimidation is sad. Come, let me give your car a break. You fool to all. You think you can change any of our plans? You will soon be dead. That is change enough for me. Death to Cleo! We are the Gabagnani! And Egypt is ours! Hurrah! My warriors were thwarted, but I shall not be. Two axes isn't enough axes. Let this queen die. The only dignity she has left is death. If death requires dignity, then allow me to decorate you. For you are the most decorated official. Place in the duat for your brother Septimius. Hey, old man. Oh, are you injured? Just a flesh wound. <laughs> okay. I am fine. Nothing hurts anymore. My mind is a riot. All I have is that I am pushed further. One more attempt to snuff me out. My queen. Rest and remember I do that... not need rest. This civil war is no closer to ending. I need a fucking throne. My throne rots in the hands of my brother. Instruct Foxidus to prepare ship. We head to meet Pompey. My last resort. You two go ahead and tell him we're coming. Yes, my queen. Baek, if we don't get to Pompey first, Septimius might. Appears those Gabinianis left us a feluca. Kind of them.
Septimius is the shit eater. He is the man we must escort to the Devourer. And of Potinus? He will be more fodder for the Devourer. And then we return home. We will only return home with Cleopatra in our company, to show the Sea Ones what has changed, what we have changed. How are things on your trireme? Great. Foxidas has entrusted me with... Why don't we take each other here? In this reed boat. Take advantage of these rare moments between us, before your new job steals you away as savior of all Egypt. You make jokes, but it is not funny. It is greatness I am after. This country is at civil war, one simply cannot deny it. Everywhere is misery. I love you, Aya. And we are Medjai. We do serve and protect, but we work alone. I share your hatred for Ptolemy. But remember, Cleopatra is a Ptolemy. This is... <clears throat> but remember, Cleopatra is a Ptolemy. She is the better of two evils. We must serve greatness. What greatness do we serve now? We are parents. We were parents. I love you, Bayek of Siwa. But what are you of now? Death hangs in the air. The stench is great. We're getting familiar. Gods. The Nile will run red for many moons. Uh, Osiris will be there. These are Romans. None of Ptolemy's naked ear deaths? No. An unceremonial. <clears throat> ah. Septimius has beat us. Funny how all great men are reduced to food for maggots. This is a cemetery for our ambitions. No. No, it can't be. Where is Caesar? He has arrived in Alexandria. He is heavily guarded, so there's... Bring me to him. I will get to Caesar if I have to drag myself through the sewers of the palace. Warning, Bayek. Once we board this ship, there is no turning back. And we finish with the Queen on her throne, or each of our heads on a pike. I understand. It is rare that our cargo is a goddess. I apologize. We have no kings or queens on our ship. Only gods and goddesses. So you should fit right in. All strange and terrible things are welcome. <laughs> I am worried that my quarters are not as comfortable as your palace. Comforts? We despise them. My loyal shield boy, are you fit? I am in awe of this goddess. We must do her well. I can't believe she's on our ship. Hey, don't be fooled by appearances. She needs us more than we need her. Raya, <laughs> she is the real goddess. There, in the distance. Aya, already showing Bayek the best places to make love, huh? Enough, Fox. It is time to make war.
Brothers at sea, today we carry a precious cargo. Queen Cleopatra, great lady in perfection. She of the Sage and Bee, with so many other cocksure titles, my breath falters just to think of them. Now, if you'll direct your attention to the fore, you'll notice we have some friends bearing down upon us. Emissaries of our little pharaoh. How kind of them to come forth. Let us welcome them, shall we? Warmly, with a ball of flaming refuse. Ah, la, 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 la! This reminds me of a day 20 years back when I sailed with a group of pirates. The Sicilians, was it? Ah, you heard the stories. That's right. I was a hired hull then, too. They were planning an inland raid on Antioch and needed a few extra sails. It was my first and only deep into the life of a scoundrel. I prefer having a shred of decency. Only a shred. A shred can be hard to come by. He speaks! The great Medjai! We are at sea, Captain. Any greatness here is yours. Ptolemites! Burn them! Alala! We have got them now, Russ! Give them a enough. taste of our fire! Well done, then. Seacraft comes naturally to you. There! More Ptolemy ships! They'll want to box us in and drive us against the shore. I see that look in your eyes. Why should we fight them? We can just barge on through and head straight for Alexandria. I need to be sure the way is safe for Cleopatra. We have to do this. Those Nekatiades will feel Ra's arrows. Nice to hear Egyptian vulgarity on a Greek ship. Variety is what makes life interesting. And bloodshed. Ah, la, 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 la! The fleet awaits your command, Aya. Our catapults will fire upon your order. We're under fire! This is not a battle we win without catapults. Ah, la, la, la! Don't save our ammunition, Aya! Waste it! And there! The fleet is at your disposal. One second! Take them, you slackers! Cut them off! Don't let them talk! Galley speed! Fire it! Shit! Ready to go! Steady, steady! Let's go! Steady! We're Ready. under fire! Fire it! Fire it! Ah. Damn it! We're under fire! Team! Galley speed! We're under fire! Show no mercy! Send them to the abyss! Fire it! Is that all they've got? We will burn them like Ra! The air stinks, but not the Vorsmen. It's something else. Hold, Foxidas. Look there, at the water. <laughs> Two ships down? Let's go. Damn Ptolemy! Did make a fine navy, though. I'm no foxy general with bottomless Roman coffers! Those were my men! Easy, Foxidas. We're not done yet. Our catapults will do their work. We'll make them pay. And dearly, by the balls of Zeus! 
I want the oceans turned dark with their blood! Damas this! Make the call! Increase the river! Yes, my captain! Alala! They sent an octary! A floating city! Blast! Do the gods wish my fleet destroyed? Fickle to sight it! This old fish will stick in your grizzled throat! Bear up, old man. Let's not offend the gods with our foes. I'll take angry gods over docile ones right now! Open up the skies and rain some kind of shit down on us! We have one last beast to hunt. Fire! 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 Ready to fire! 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 We're under fire! We're under fire! Ready to fire! Such a humor, I am. The day I met you was the day danger found me again. Right? You are one lucky medjack. <laughs> As are we. Lucky to be in your furious company. Should I apologize for putting you back to work? Not at all. Not at all. My blood runs quick now. With the roar of battle. By Zeus. I have not seen this much action since the earliest days of Cleopatra's father! <laughs> Let's not celebrate too roundly, old man. We're afloat in the sea with a cargo with a thousand ships. I wonder if Cleopatra survived unmarked. Those clothes looked expensive. All are safe, we are done! <laughs> Attacking starboard! Oh, we are not done! Ptolemy's Malachi are not dead yet! Get out of the reed boats! Use the fog to hide your escape! But I will take care of this. Destiny is a fucker sometimes, Aya. Enjoy the calm water. I will stay in the storm to- Free you fools! Don't mind the flaming arrows, huh? <laughs> Before battle, we will honor our goddies! We cannot afford to spill any Roman blood. We cannot traipse into the palace armed to the teeth. So we disarm then. Armed or not, they will recognize her. For once, perhaps a queen's entrance is unnecessary. Act natural. We are meant to preside these grounds. Remember that. Is our queen all right? I'm fine. 
Who are we? Let me do the talking. None pass here without escort or a royal seal. I am the nomarch of Heliopolis. These are my Philakitae. We bring gifts from our local merchants. Let them pass with an escort. Follow me. This way. Our Imperator appreciates the hospitality. Have you received the warm welcome our pharaohs always provide? We will not celebrate until an alliance is sealed. Your vizier and your king have given us fine accommodations here in the palace. However, I cannot guarantee my Imperator will hold court with you. We understand. You are a good legionary. We will be patient. Do you think we could take them all? Of course. We have better gods than them. Are we there yet? Guest legionary, at ease. We are with the great Pharaoh Ptolemy XIII, his envoys from the east, with gifts for your Imperator. Carry on, then. An offering? Docs. Mihi plaket. Would you like me to help you carry your carpet? No, sorry. It is very sacred. Must be handled by the Philakidae. They understand the merchandise. Step aside, legionnaires. Official business for the Pharaoh. Who are you? You look like a hippodrome racer. Huh. I am. You should see me race. The C1 warrior. Continue this way. Guest legionary, at ease. You will stay in the palace until all politics are concluded. My palace is at your disposition, Caius. Pompey was bound to be killed sooner or later. Pompey was your enemy, Caesar. He was my friend first. You are right, Ptolemy. Now let us discuss our alliance. <laughs> what is this? Forgive, Lord Caesar. We bring a gift from our pharaoh, Cleopatra. Pharaoh? This is no gift. These are my sister's friends. It is a trap. In place of an envoy, Cleopatra sends a rug? I wonder how you all entered my palace. God! Kill these traitors! My wretched brother. He's at the wine go to vinegar. And my kingdom to pieces. Great lady. Your audacity is equaled only by your beauty. Flavius, please. I can offer you what my brother failed at with me. Marriage. A true marriage, that is. If you ally with my sister, I will kill every last Roman in Alexandria. Enough of the big words, little brother. Out, all. You will each be sent for when our Congress is concluded. I wish to hear both Ptolemy's side of the story. Bothinus and Septimius gone. We miss them. You will have your vengeance soon. This is Cleopatra's time to officially become queen. If she is crowned queen, we will be able to act from within. Crush the network. Tomorrow, our queen will have turned flattery into progress. We'll reconvene tomorrow at the gardens. You proved your worth tenfold today. You truly are great Magi's.
Aya, dear one, thank you for coming. All is well with great Caesar. Good, my queen. Soon you will be on your throne. Yes, yes. I must ask you a favor, though. The tomb. I fear Lord Caesar should have the honor to bear witness to the author of our kingdom, Alexander the Great. You want to impress your new lover, I see. The tomb is sealed, no? <laughs> it is, but by an act of Gaia, not a royal decree. An earthquake in the early days of my father's reign has blocked the door. Do you know our metropolis well enough to suggest an alternate means of entry? The underground. You would enter from below? Well, I would find a way into the cisterns and canals below, work backwards and find a way to clear a passage into the tomb. That would solve our problem, but it seems idealistic. Fortune favors those who ignore her. I'll examine the area around the tomb and figure this out. Excellent. Rejoice.